What is up YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own custom texture packs. Uh, it's actually a lot simpler than you think. So let's get started. Go down to the description and open the, uh, the first link. It should bring up WinRAR. You definitely need this. If you don't already have it, you can skip this part. Um, just go down there and click run. Wait for it to open. <laughs> I promise you this has no viruses or anything like that. <sighs> now, I'm not actually going to do this. I'm just going to... I just did this to show you. My computer wasn't so slow. Alright, so yeah, you're going to click next and select your download location and stuff like that. Um, once you have that, I'm going to close that, open the, uh, oh, nice advertisement. <laughs> I'm going to, or you're going to go down there to the description and open the, uh, the second link. Uh, this is to Photoshop. Um, you can use paint or other things like that. I don't like that because you can't make, um, you can't clear, do clear type things. You'll, I'll show you that later. But yeah, a Photoshop works the best. It even shows you the individual pixels and you can change them and just trust me, Photoshop is the best way to go. So click on that. You're going to click regular download. Okay. Go down here. I would click save. Save as. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Okay. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Alright, now this is going to take a while. So I'm going to like pause the video now and wait till it's done downloading. All right, I'm back and it's done downloading. Hopefully yours is too. Let's um, open, go down here to open. Okay, we can close that. We're done with all our internets. Okay, well actually, don't need that open. I have it right here on your desktop because you saved it. I'm just gonna say extract files to, oh, okay. Just click whatever the heck I clicked. Click extract to Adobe Photoshop, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> All right, I'll cut to when this is done. All right, now that that's done downloading, I'm gonna grab the original dot RAR, throw it in my recycle bin, don't need it. All right, so we got Photoshop, double click it. All right, now scroll down until you find Photoshop, the application, right click, run as administrator. Uh, done with that. White Rabbit, not sure what that is, but oh well, it works. So now that we got that, uh, Adobe Photoshop, we're going to minimize that. Now we get into our texture pack stuff. Um, okay, I'm going to show you how to do this. If you don't know how to find your dot .minecraft, go to start, search, percent sign, app, data, percent sign, roaming, dot .minecraft. Okay, now we're going to go to bin, find the minecraft.jar, it's right here. I have mine set to open with uh, the archiver, but if yours isn't, it'll just say like minecraft.jar as the like Java. Anyways, right click it, go to copy, um, paste it onto your desktop. So this will be now your texture pack, I guess you can, you can rename this if you want. I'm just going to name it test, open it up. All right, now, to make it how we want it, we want to actually delete all these class folders because you don't need any of them. So sort by type, scroll all the way down, all the way down. OK, now, everything that, nope, everything that's a, a class file, we're just going to highlight and delete it. Don't need it. All oh, right, that was kind of cool. All right, now that we got that, this is pretty much everything you're going to be modifying. Um, this is how I do it to make sure, like, if I mess up, it's okay. Uh, the main thing you're going to be dealing with is your terrain. So you can grab that, drag and drop it onto your desktop. It'll make a copy of it for you. Go back to Photoshop, go to File, Sorry you can't see it because of my overlay there, but go to open. It should automatically go to your desktop or just go to desktop. Scroll down until you find the terrain that you did. 
Okay, now I have no idea how any other editor works, but this is how to do it on Photoshop. Um, you can see all of your stuff here. Make sure you don't modify things like the fire. Do not modify that. Try not to modify this blue thing that's like the portal. Don't modify that. It'll mess stuff up. This uh, grayish object up in the left-hand corner is... Uh, what is that? Um, it's the grass. So it's the... It changes colors. So if you want to mess with that, you can. You just won't have how, like, in the different biomes, it has different uh, colors. I'm not sure how to edit that, but if you do edit that, then the grass will just be the same throughout. Okay, now, you see all these, all these, uh, white and gray, like, little areas? That's the empty areas. This is why I like to use Photoshop, because you can... Let's modify our door to make it look kind of cool. I'm going to go to my eraser tool. I have no idea what that is. Eraser tool. And then you can just erase it. Now my door will actually look like that in the real Minecraft. I'm going to undo that. That's kind of silly. <laughs> but, yeah, you can just do stuff like that. You can retexture everything. I like this because... I like using Photoshop because you can scroll all the way in and you can see the individual pixels and change it all the way down at the pixelated level. So yeah, that's um, how you do the train. Now, if you were to modify it and you like the modified version, you're gonna grab the terrain that's on your desktop, just drag and drop it back in. Make sure you have add and replace files here. Just click okay and it'll be done. You can go in and do all your armor. You can delete this now, oops. You can delete your terrain because you already modified it and put it back. Um, you can modify all of this stuff, you know, open it in Photoshop, change it, do whatever. You can change your art, I like doing that. You can change these in Photoshop to like whatever you want, pictures of you. If you really wanted to, you could have pictures of you in, in your Minecraft. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, don't know what else to show you. Oh, yeah, okay, so this is your texture pack. I want to show you this. Um, font. Oh, just kidding. Don't do that. Don't mess with the font. <laughs> Going to go into the, your pack thing. This is, uh, it says the default look of Minecraft. What this means is, well, what was that? Hold on, wait for... I'll open Minecraft just to show you. I'm sure you know what it is, but hold on. We're logging in. Voila. Okay, so in mods and texture packs, see it says the default look of Minecraft. You can just type whatever you want in this in this here, and that's what it'll say. Like you can say, "Thanks for downloading my pack" or whatever you want it to say. Or you just say "custom texture pack" if you want it just for yourself. So yeah, you can also change the pack. That was that uh, the picture you saw to the left. You can change that, and that'll be like when you go to set your texture packs, they'll see that little picture. So you can customize that. You can customize anything you want now. So we're done with that. Now we got to go back to our dot Minecraft. Go to texture packs. Drag and drop our test into there. Okay, now once we drag that into there, we're going to want to go to it, right click, go to send to, compress zip, now you can delete your archive or leave it out here, whatever, delete it, okay, now it should be listed under there, and you have your own text custom texture pack, as you'll see. Mods and texture packs, and here's the test. Dot zip. There you go, and you're done. If you want me to do another video on how to actually change the textures in Photoshop, I will be happy to do so. Just leave a comment and tell me if this video helped. Uh, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to see more tutorials. And if you have any suggestions for tutorials you want to see or have me do leave a comment and i'll do it for you okay see you next time